Hello Internet people! In this video, I'll show you how to create a free website with your mobile phone. This will work on Android and iOS. And after this video, you can have a business website like this. Or travel blog like this. Or even a web shop like this. And there are many more demos to choose from. As part of this video, you will have a domain name, web hosting, and WordPress theme. And the best part, it's all free. It's free. It's free. Free website on mobile. Tip sweat punch. All right, before we start, I just want to mention that what I will show you is totally free, but there are a lot of reasons why using a free website is not a good idea. If you're serious about growing your blog or business, a video talking about these reasons will appear in the top right corner now. If you are just setting up a website for personal use or with low traffic or you're just practicing, then free setup is fine. If you're on tight budget, then consider at least getting a paid domain. You can always switch the hosting later. Enough talk! All right. Let's get started by going to the browser. In my case, I'm gonna use Chrome, so this will work on Android and iOS. Then just type in free num, and this is a website that will give you free domains. So just here, type in the domain you want, and then just click on the check availability. All right. As you can see, there's a few options you can get for free. In my case, I like the .cf, so I'm going to use it. So I'll just, I'm going to hit the get it now, just below the .cf. And now it's added to your basket, but obviously it's free, so you don't need to actually pay anything. And just hit the checkout at the top, the green one here. And then change the three months to one year, actually 12 months in this case done and then just click on continue on this page you need to add your email and you will get a confirmation email to that email basically so let's type in arnie what's your email address get to the chopper! and let's verify the email dun, dun, dun. all right now we should receive an email. As you can see, it comes immediately. Just go to the email and then click on the e link. In my case, I'm gonna copy it because I'm using Chrome, which is not default browser for in iOS. So I need to copy it and then I can come here. Let's leave this one open and open a new window. And yeah, copy paste the URL. Awesome, this just means the email has been verified. There's actually no message about it, but you will see here you need to enter your details. So just type in your details. Once you fill in your details, actually you don't even need to fill in the, your phone number, so you can just skip that. And don't forget to accept the terms and conditions. And obviously you should read through them. Come back. And then click on the complete order. So in my case, for some reason, I don't see the confirmation page, but actually the account has been created. So I guess I can just go to and try to log in. If you didn't have this issue, you should just land on the uh, account page. If you didn't, do what I just did, log into the site. So once you're logged in, just click on the hamburger menu in the top right corner. And it's not super responsive, just try to... Okay, eventually it will open up, then go to services and my domains. And you'll see that there's one domain we just created. Then you have to tap on the manage domain. Arnie, how is it so far? Only pain. All right, we'll need this page in a second. Now we need to set up the hosting so that we can point this free domain to that hosting. 
And what you need for this is to just create a new tab. And let's uh, type into Google Infinity Free. And that's the hosting provider that is, well, it's basically free. Let's go inside. As you can see, free unlimited web hosting. That's great. That's what we want. So on this page, you need to sign up for the account for the free web hosting. Just click on the hamburger menu and then click on register. Again, fill in your details. In this case, it's just email, password, uh, and the password confirmation. And obviously that you're not a robot. Let's do that. So once you fill in, don't forget to agree to terms of services and obviously read through them. And then click, check the I'm not a robot. Sorry, Artie, I guess you can't proceed. No problemo. Hopefully it doesn't think, oh man, these are always a bit hard. Next, boom, 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 boom. Verify, great, I'm not a robot, sign up. And as you can see, there'll be an email. There you go, the email came almost immediately. I'm gonna copy paste this email because, uh, because my Chrome is set up differently. So Safari is my main browser. In this case, we can just overwrite this one. Visit copy link, boom. All right, we're actually now inside Infinity Free and we're logged in already. So we can just go and create new account. We can now create the hosting account and in this page, we need to first put in the domain name. We already have a domain, so let's just use a custom domain, click on it. And before we do anything, just click on the learn more. So they opens up a new window. So before we do anything else, we need these two, the two top ones. These are the name servers of Infinity Free, and this is what we need to put in into Freenode. I know, you might be a bit lost like John. Pchew, pchew. Goku has a teleport, but it sounds harder than it is. All right, so just grab the top one. Let's grab it, copy, and then let's go to, let's go to Freenome. And this is the page we left it on. This is managing store monkey, WPCF. And here you can see a little drop down management tools. And when you, when you click on it, it's a drop down and you need to select name servers. And it will reveal name servers here. Just select use custom name servers. And you can enter the one that I copied. I'll put it twice because the other one is just with the number two. You only need the first two name servers. It will work with those. So let's change the name servers. If we double check, yep, those two are now the correct ones. So they're saying that this might take up to 24 hours to propagate. Usually it's much quicker. We can go back to infinity free to this one and then just type in the, the domain. Don't forget the extension as well. All right, and then you can just hit the search domain Mm -hmm. You're going to enter some additional information, but um, I'm fine with the account label being this website. You can change it to something else if you want to. And for me, it's fine now. This is what appears in the infinity free dashboard as your account. So I'm not a robot. Talk to the hand. He will ask again for crosswalks. Oh, don't think there is any chimney. Boom, boom, boom and then create an account. As you can see, there's a message that the account has been created. And now you can just click on open control panel. And then click on I approve. This is just a notification that they're setting up some stuff for us and they're going to send an email about it. So I approve. And now it's loading the C panel. And what's great about Infinity Free is that it uses cPanel, which is the most, which is also used by pretty much every other hosting provider. So once you decide to switch to a paid hosting, you'll know how to work with it because you can practice it here. Like JC practicing his moves. 
Hey, if you like this video so far, I would appreciate if you can hit the like button. That would help me a lot. Thanks. Okay, this is the cPanel dashboard. It looks a bit different on the Infinity Free because it has ads and stuff. But other than that, it pretty much this is what you're looking at. There's a lot of things you can do here and it depends a little bit what which hosting provider you use but most things are the same no matter where you go so let's install wordpress on this hosting provider so just scroll down until you see software it's here and then click on the softaculous apps installer and just choose wordpress it's usually the top one so let's install this by choosing quick install and this will open up some options for us i think this is the latest wordpress version so just install that one um, obviously choose domain in this in our case there's only one so you don't need to worry about that one the directory this is super important make sure that it's empty for you otherwise it'll just install wordpress on a certain part like let's say uh, slash blog it will install the WordPress on that one. So make sure it's just empty. Then you need to create an admin. So create something you like. I'm going to use admin and add a admin password. And please make it more creative than this one. Then admin email. You should just put your email here or whatever email you want to use for this. Then there's a few plugins that it suggests. Um, I usually like to use the limit login attempts. That's a good one. Classic editor is a good one if you're on a desktop and you're used to WordPress old, old way of doing things. For now, we can always install this later. Um, so I'm going to skip this one. We're going to install a really nice theme that uh, uh, we're going to download later. So just skip the select theme section and click on install. So now it started installing it. This will take a few minutes. And now it's telling us that we're actually done. That's great. So don't leave this page. What you need to do now is you need to click on the administrative URL, which is basically your domain name slash WP admin. This will open up a new window. And this is basically your WordPress dashboard. And that's really cool because WordPress is the most used content management system in the world. There's so many tutorials about it. So it's, it's a bit confusing at the beginning, but once you get started with it, once you watch a few tutorials, it's just, it's going to make sense. You lie. So in the WordPress dashboard, let's go and press on the hamburger menu, click on appearance and then themes. Then click on add new and then in the search box type in Astra and this is quite popular theme so let's select that one and then hit on install and once it's installed don't forget to click on the activate this just means that the theme will be activated and you can actually see it now we need to again click on the hamburger menu and then now we need to install a plugin so that you have that you have some demo content that you can then edit and it's easier to start if you have something and then you can edit it than just starting from scratch so let's go to plugins and add new let's close this thank you message and here again there's a search box in the search box just search for astra starter sites then you'll see this plugin click on install now and activate the plugin now this is the plugin section just scroll down until you see astra starter sites and click on the c library link here we will select a page builder I would otherwise recommend using Elementor or Beaver Builder, but because you're using a mobile device and it has this touch, uh, these two don't work on it. So we're gonna select Gutenberg. Arnie, what's your favorite page builder? Body Builder. 
and then scroll down and next. Let's filter these by free. And you can see there's a plenty of options and it even shows how it looks like. There's a lot of options. Astro team has done a really great job. There's all kinds of stuff. As you can see, the list goes on. I think there's at least, I don't know, 20 of these. So just choose the one you like. In my case, I'm going to select this travel blog. And it will ask you if you want to install required plugins, import customizer settings, blah, blah, blah. It will just tell you which plugins it will install. You can always check them by clicking on the little question mark here. If you already installed some demo content, this is this. You can select this one and delete it, and then it will install you a new one. Otherwise, it gets confused. But since we're creating it from scratch, there's nothing on the site yet. We're just going to deselect it and then click on import site. So this process might take uh, several minutes. They say it might take two, from two to 10 minutes. Um, so I'm gonna pause this video until I have this finished. Once it's done, the button will change to done view site. And this is the exciting part. It will open up a new tab. You can see that now in on our domain, we just set up, there's actually a lot of stuff. So there's this whole website there. Woohoo, you can go party now. And next day, wake up like this guy. My name is Robert. And if this is your first time here and you want to learn more about how to improve your website, get more traffic and other website related stuff, make sure to hit that subscribe Ding button dong. so you don't miss out on anything. No, but seriously, this is great. This is where you can start. So now if we go back to WordPress dashboard, if you want to get out of here, you just click on this X in the left corner. And here again, on click on the hamburger menu and you go to pages, all pages. And as you can see, there's some pages already installed for you. So for example, we saw the home page, which in WordPress is called front page. Let's click on the home and this will open up the Gutenberg editor. And this is basically our home page. Uh, at this point, when you're editing this stuff, it's maybe easier to use the portrait view like this. I hope I can edit this nicely, but basically this way you can edit stuff. So let's say I don't want to be Melissa. I want to put my name there. I can change it. I am Bob. Done update now if i flip the now if i go to the tab with the website and refresh it there you go i am bob the travel blogger this is just a great way for you to get started now you can really edit things what i would recommend at this point is that as your next video is to check out how gothenburg works my name is Robert and if you're looking to master the digital world while getting entertained, this is the channel for you. So hit that subscribe button and find the bell icon so that you get notified about new videos. Here are two videos that I think you will find useful. Whoosh!